multi-million dollar export industry starts with a trip to the shops. Rika Wenjing is an accountancy graduate in Sydney. She's a Daigo, selling health supplements and baby food to 300 clients back home in China. What they want are safe, genuine Australian products. The baby formula is most popular a product everyone cannot buy the um, good quality or the reliable uh, formula in China. So they want to buy from the Australia. Maybe the expense, um, more expensive, they, they don't care the price. Daigo is a retail agent who buys goods to order. In Australia, they're almost exclusively from mainland China. Many are small enterprises set up by students to help subsidize rent and university fees who sell to family and friends, but others do grow far bigger. Some of the Daigo grow to a much bigger scale business, which establish their own logistics, own e-commerce website, and trying to formally distribute the products. So it's all about trust, that um, what Daigo is doing is building trust between their um, um, clients and the client groups, personal connections. If they are small, but they are a lot of people. If you add them together, be huge. It's estimated there are 40,000 Daigo in Australia. Most are based here in Sydney that has a large Chinese community and many direct flights to China, which makes doing business a lot easier. However, earlier this year, the authorities in Beijing tightened regulations on cross-border online shopping. But there's still money to be made. Bob's son started his Daigo business with three friends from university just a few weeks ago. They pack their goods with Australian magazines to help prove their authenticity to buyers in China. Also, the income for, from Daigo is reasonable compared with other, uh, with, with other working opportunity, like working in restaurant or something. 30%, 30% in my classes, they are doing Daigo. Yeah. The scale of the trade has encouraged some larger retailers to go into partnerships with these freelance shopping consultants to open up new, untapped markets in China. Phil Mercer, BBC News, Sydney.